More than a million dollars worth of hard drugs busted right here in the metro. A special task force with the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office recovered more than 40 pounds of cocaine during a traffic stop. KOCO's Kylie Thomas joining us live now along I-40 in Kickapoo where the bust happened. Kylie. Yeah, deputies specialized in stopping drug trades sit along interstates like I-40 waiting for potential traffickers. They're trained to spot signs you and I wouldn't catch. And on Tuesday, that training paid off. When you get the strong scent of like laundry soap and dryer sheets, things masking agents that are used to really cover up the smell of, uh, of uh, illegal narcotics. A telltale sign that tipped off Oklahoma County deputies to uncovering $1.3 million in cocaine being trafficked along I-40. On Tuesday, the criminal interdiction team of Central Oklahoma, known as CITCO, spotted two cars following each other along I-40 and the Kickapoo Turnpike. After committing several traffic violations, deputies had a hunch something more was going on. One deputy pulled over the vehicle, which had Texas tags, and immediately spotted two suitcases in the back seat. When the driver rolled down the window, the deputy noticed indicators. She told our deputy that she was having marital troubles and was going to see a friend in Chicago. Our deputy asked her if she was transporting any drugs and she said no. She then agreed to a search of her vehicle. This is what deputies found. 47 and a half pounds of uncut cocaine on top of the sealed blocks, cayenne pepper and dryer sheets. A tactic authorities say drug traffickers use to trick canines, but it didn't work. Deputies through their training know that often drug transporters travel in pairs to try to throw off law enforcement. Deputies then arrested the second driver, booking both for aggravated trafficking and conspiracy. Sheriff Tommy Johnson thanked the specialized task force for the bus. Over eight tons of illegal narcotics this group has taken off the roadways. That is incredible. Now authorities are working to figure out where those drugs came from and where they were going. Reporting live, Kylie Thomas, KOCO 5 News.